The GBU-57 Model A and B, Massive Ordnance Penetrator. OP for short is a U.S. Air Force precision-guided bunker-busting bomb designed to destroy deeply buried and fortified targets such as underground bunkers, command centers, and nuclear facilities. It weighs approximately 30,000 pounds, 13,600 kilograms, and is over 20 feet long. It is guided by GPS-aided Inertial Navigation System INS, and carries a conventional high-explosive warhead with reinforced steel casing for deep penetration and was designed to penetrate up to 200 feet 60 meters, of reinforced concrete or 130 feet 40 meters, of harder rock before detonation. The GBU-57 is primarily deployed from the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber due to its large internal bomb bay and ability to evade radar. The MOP was developed in response to the need for a weapon capable of destroying high-value targets buried deep underground, beyond the reach of smaller bunker busters like the GBU-28. It's seen as a strategic tool, especially in scenarios involving hardened nuclear facilities, such as those potentially found in countries like Iran or North Korea. Developed by Northrop Grumman for the Air Force under the direction of the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, DTRA, it entered operational status in the early 2000s implications and is considered a non-nuclear alternative for strategic strike missions, giving the U.S. a powerful deterrent and attack option without crossing the nuclear threshold. Here is its development history, 2002-2004. Initial interest in a deep penetration weapon after U.S. encounters with fortified targets in Afghanistan and Iraq. 2007. The U.S. Air Force requested rapid development of a large penetrator to target hardened Iranian and North Korean nuclear sites. 2009. The Defense Threat Reduction Agency, DTRA, began formal development with Northrop Grumman and Boeing. 2011 first small production batch delivered to the U.S. Air Force. 2012 to 2013, major upgrades to improve accuracy, fuse delay, and penetration depth. By 2015, fully operational and integrated into B-2 mission planning. As of June 2025, the GBU-57 has not been used in live combat. It is considered a strategic deterrent primarily held in reserve for hypothetical high-value scenarios such as destroying Iran's Fordo or Natanz nuclear enrichment sites, attacking North Korean underground missile silos or bunkers, neutralizing heavily buried command and control nodes in a major power conflict. Instead of being used tactically, the MOP serves as a credible, conventional alternative to nuclear strikes on deeply buried targets. White Sands Missile Range and Tonopah Test Range were used for full-scale drop testing. Dropped from B-52H Strato Fortress during testing, though only the B-2 has the capacity and stealth to deploy it operationally. The bomb was tested on simulated underground targets to validate its penetration capability, capable of reaching up to 60 meters 200 feet, of concrete or rock before detonation. The MOP is a psychological and tactical deterrent, signaling the U.S. capability to neutralize hard-to-reach WMD facilities, avoid reliance on nuclear weapons while still delivering strategic-level strikes, maintain escalation dominance in conflict scenarios. It's often discussed in strategic messaging to adversaries, particularly in the context of Iran's and North Korea's nuclear programs. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate you watching.